Good evening guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Tonight we are going to do High River Hot Sauces. I've got Rogue and i got Tears of the Sun. See you in a few minutes. Good evening guys. Dave here from Funky Foods with Dave. Hope everybody's doing well on this Sunday. Uh, again, it's a Sunday, so everybody knows what that is. It's my taste test Sundays. Um, before I get into that, um, I had my first harvest fair, harvest craft fair, whatever it was, this weekend with my wife. She did her um, uh, the body shop body product. shop stuff, and I did my hot sauces. Seemed to have gone okay. No, not good, just okay. Good, awesome. I got good feedback on my hot sauces, so. You know, that that was worth going just in itself. Um, let's see. The, oh, today's the uh, Patriots versus Tampa Bay with Tom Brady coming back to town. So he's going to take, uh, I'm a Patriots fan, but he's going to take that football and shove it right up Bill's butt tonight, I think. I'm so excited to see this Gronk's game. Gronk's not playing. I would like to see that. Even though I'm a Patriots fan, I'd like to see Tom and Gronk shove it right in Bill's butt. But anyways... Um, at the end of the video, if you like it, hit the like button, share, notification bell, uh, subscribe. I'm at 92 subscribers on that push to get to 100. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, shout outs today. Shout outs go to one of the very few big channels I follow is Lee Out Loud. I've been following him forever. Uh, beat us his shout out today is because it's his 30th birthday today. So I didn't know it was his 30th. Birthday, happy Lee. birthday, Lee. They were doing a live show today with uh, John, the boy from Auburn. I love him so and much. So, happy birthday. My other shout out goes to DJ Plus 3 Outdoors. Um, I like his channel. You know, he seems like a decent guy. Plus, he likes a lot of things that I'm into and used to be really into. Uh, he does some hunting videos, uh, farming videos, and I like that sort of stuff. Plus, he did a great sunset video the other day. That nice. Was unbelievable. Wasn't that in memory of somebody, his yeah, mom? mom? I think mom that's beautiful. Him. So, again, my shout outs today go out to Lee Out Loud and DJ Plus 3 Outdoors. Um, so, let's get into today's uh, video. Today's company that I'm doing, um, I got a couple. I got four of these sauces, but again, like I said, I'm, if I have more than three sauces, I'm going to do two at a time, and I have four there. So today's is High River Sauces. They're out of Kings Park, New York. HighRiverSauces.com. So High River High River Sauces, and their website is High River High River Sauces.com. So this one here is called Tears of the Hun Hot Sauce. Tears of the Sun. Did I say Hun? Yeah, but Hun. You know, I got that, honey. <laughs> Tears of the Sun, Hun. Whatever. Um, Tears of the Sun is a deliciously dangerous blend of habanero peppers and tropical fruit. Your taste buds are greeted by the sweetness, then rising like the sun on a hot summer day. The heat settles in to make this unique sauce. Good for chicken, pork, fish, even a bagel with cream cheese. If your food is crying for help, it's crying for some tears of the sun. I like that. Um, ingredients on this is apple cider, vinegar, mangoes, papaya. Oh, I love papaya. Orange habanero peppers, peaches, pineapple, pineapple juice, water, brown sugar, lime juice, ginger root, salt, garlic, and crushed red pepper. So, habaneros is what? One, two... I'm sorry, not... Okay, apple cider vinegar. Not apple cider in vinegar. It's apple cider vinegar. So, and habanero was the third one on the list. So, let's give this a shot. Kind of a crappy day here in Vermont today. Overcast, showery. It's getting that time of the year. Foliage is setting in good. Oh, my gosh. Yum. Setting in Beautiful. Really good. It's a really good I don't know why the frigga just said yum. I mean, just up the road from where they live, not even a half mile from us, is a uh, flood control reservoir that is on the side of the mountain we that up here we call Weston Mountain or Terrible Mountain. In the winter, it's called Terrible Mountain for the road. And that is starting to look really nice. Oh, I got a plug. There it goes. Um, first hint. First smell I get is uh, habanero. 
first right off the bat. And then the garlic and the vinegar. Kind of a medium flow sauce. Looks good. Got the chunkies. Chunkage. It's habanero. Then I get the apple cider vinegar. So the apple cider vinegar is number one, but it's not the first smell I get, which is good. This is a toughie. I get the habanero. The first thing I get is the apple cider vinegar. Then I get, and I'm not a fan of vinegar, but I, right when you get that vinegar, it's overtaken by the mango and uh, mango and papaya. That overtakes it right off, so that's good because if it was stayed any longer, it'd have been too much vinegar for me. Then you get the pop from the habanero, and I would give this. Try that again. He want. Let me. I gotta try that again. Do a smaller one this time, just to. Yep, exactly in that order. Almost exactly how it's listed on there is what I'm getting. That's actually really good. I'm getting, I get the apple cider vinegar, but it's immediately <laughs> taken over by the mango and papaya. And then the orange habanero peppers come in. And then I can taste the peaches. I do not taste pineapple or the brown sugar. I do get the lime juice in there and a little garlic. Brown sugar. But that apple cider vinegar hits first, but it's immediately <laughs> overtaken by that mango and papaya, which is good because it gets rid of that cider flavor real quick. Heat wise, heat wise, a one for me. That is that's pretty good. That is actually a pretty good sauce. I like how even though it's got the apple cider vinegar, you get the you get hit by it, but it's immediately overtaken by that papaya. Nice. So what do you give that, though? What is, because you usually... The scale is a one. Oh, okay. Taste? What? What's the taste? It tastes like... Is it, is it good? Tastes... Oh, no, it's, it's very good. Yeah, it's very good. No, I don't have any complaints about that sauce. I would have if that cider would have lasted longer yep. for the flavor. Because I usually, when you usually say vinegar, I'm like, ugh, he's not going to like yep, it, it, so... It, it, the mango and papaya, <clears throat> boom, take it right over pretty quick. Nice. So this one is High River Sauces Rogue Blood Orange Scorpion Pepper Sauce. Oh, the, see, I love, I love, 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 love bottles. Their blend labels. Of the hottest peppers in the world. The unique flavor combination of the blood orange, apples, and pears make this sauce highly appreciated by extreme heat and flavor aficionados. Refreshing heat with a subtle hint of sweetness. Rogue captures all those exotic blends that you've been craving in a gourmet sauce. Enjoy. I can't even read what's in that. That print. Wow. It's like is, really I, bad here. With my see. glasses on. Yeah. I cannot read what's in that. Holy sugar. I don't know if you can zoom in on that. that Apple so cider vinegar is the first. Where the hell is it? Hold on. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I mean, I The can't. first thing, though, I'm excited. You've got apple cider vinegar, apple sauce, pears, water, sugar, citrus, sax, yeah, all that business. Pepper mash. Hmm. With Trinidad and Scorpion. Trinidad Scorpion. Uh, light brown sugar, cane sugar. I'm curious to see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm curious that to is, see what I mean, he's going to think of that. Small. God. Yeah. Even my glasses, I can't read that. All right, let's get. I have glasses, glasses on off. too. I can't read it anyways. Yeah, I'm curious what you're gonna think of that because right off apple cider vinegar, and then apple like I believe it said apple juice. Like, so I wonder, hmm, I'm interesting. I'm just gonna divert from this real quick. I got two more of their sauces. I think they're right here. Yep. 
So the next ones I'll do on the next video is Hellacious Hot Sauce and Chiba Gold. I'm wondering if they put apple cider vinegar. In, uh, but their first one, usually when something's first, isn't that like the most... That's usually the flavor that comes yeah. forward. Yeah, so I'm curious to see how you're going to be with this one. This one is, the first one is vinegar, but this one, first thing is peaches. And that's a scotch bonnet, and I'm going to love that sauce when I do that one. I can tell already. I love scotch bonnet and pepper flavor. All right, let's get into this one. Woo. Huh? Like, woo, like, woo. Woo, because that's apple cider vinegar. Oh. And then the pepper. See, my problem is I can't. I smell vinegar so right off, and that always takes me out of the sauce. Even though, as you'll see, I uh, hear I got my little Aren't tabascos. Aren't they cute? And I love them. Everybody looks at me kind of weird when I say I, I I hate vinegar in my sauces, but that Tabasco is a lot of vinegar. But I got so used to this. Yep. It's like a. It's just I don't even taste the vinegar in this. As in the when I was in the Marine Corps, this is what we had in our MRE. So it just. And Dave's it's always told me stories about, like, his MREs and so on and so forth. And explain what MRE is if somebody doesn't know. Meals ready to eat. Come Thank you. Brown bag. But he always said stuff. about no um, Tabasco sauce. So we were watching a show the other day with Marines. Yeah. And they did it. Um, very runny sauce. What's your first? Vinegar. Yeah. I don't, I'm not a fan of vinegar. I do like it on french fries, so. Wow, that's deceiving. Really? Yep. Very, very little vinegar flavor. <gasps> huh. I wish I could still read those. Even though apple cider vinegar is number one, this, to me, is less heat than this one. And this is scorpion which is a lot harder than habanero. I mean, your habanero peppers are like 400, 450,000 on the Scoville, somewhere in that range. Yeah. Trinidad scorpions are like 1.6 million. Well, there it comes. Nope. Oh, it's got snap. Isn't that yep. that mash business it's that's in it? It's coming back on the yep. back of my throat. Um, this is good flavor. That apple cider smell is really deceiving on this sauce i can taste the different fruits i can taste the vinegar that scorpion pepper yeah this is now this is hotter than that this is hotter oh wow at first this was hotter i mean the habanero yeah but that bite is coming in now from the uh, uh the scorpion and oh excuse me sorry I would give this probably a two. Wow. But smell of this product is apple cider vinegar. Taste of it, very little apple cider flavor. I taste it, but I can also taste the fruits. And then as you swallow, you get that scorpion uh, flavor and bite. This isn't a bad sauce. I like this one better. Yeah, I like this one better. Um, one minute. I'm at 15 already? You're going to be at, you're at 14 something. Okay. So. All right, guys. Well, that's, so I'm coming up on 15 minutes. I talked too much today. That's okay. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, share. Hit the notification bell. I'll see you here Wednesday for a challenge video. All right, guys. Take it easy. Have a good night. Bye.